Hi, my name is Andy Wolf. This is my video on correcting cam impingement of the hip. For a more thorough explanation of cam impingement type impingement, please see my video, Cam Impinser Impingement Explained. This is a patient in whom I've already performed a labor repair. You can see the blue sutures in the labrum at the top of the screen. At the bottom of the screen is the femoral head engaging into the acetabulum. There's a bump on the head which displaces the labrum in this picture as the hip is moved through range of motion while I'm looking at it with the camera. A burr will be introduced into the hip in order to remove the bump and recontour the femoral head and neck junction to remove the cam impingement. The burr is used to sculpt the femoral head neck junction where the cam lesion was causing impingement on the labrum, thus causing the patient's labral tear. While I'm doing this, I'm using a, an x-ray machine to visualize how much bone I'm taking away so that I know that the contour can be just right at the end of the case. Once I believe adequate bone is removed, I can then bring the hip through range of motion, bring the hip into flexion and internal rotation so that I can show that there is no further impingement in this position. Thus, the labrum and its repair have been protected while maintaining the suction seal function of the labrum onto the femoral head. In this way, we were able to correct both the patient's labral tear, but also the reason it tore, namely the cam type impingement. This is a very powerful technique where we can make larger corrections as in this patient or more subtle corrections as we see in this patient where only a small recontouring was necessary. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can visit my website at www.andrewwolfmd.com.